This inverter mini split AC compressor has a strange noise inside the compressor. It is also showing P1 and P4 errors on display. So let's see the problem with this mini split air conditioner. This is the outdoor control board of this mini split. I have installed the indoor control board as well. I will show you what kind of noise the compressor of this mini split makes. The LED light of the outdoor control board is blinking. Green light is glowing, and the yellow light is blinking fast. I have turned on the indoor control board. It has started to show the P1 error code on the indoor display panel. Now I have reset the outdoor control board. This means that by turning it off for a while, I have again passed electricity to it. Now see the green light is continuously glowing. But the yellow light is blinking slower this time, as it was blinking faster before. It has started the compressor. As you are hearing, the compressor's sound seems strange. And now, the red light has started to glow, and the green light has stopped glowing. And the light is repeatedly glowing in this manner. And now you can see it has started to show a P4 error on display. So it is showing different problems in different situations. Now let's understand what the reason is that the P1 error is showing. I will also explain what components in the PCB board are bad. The P1 error code could be temporary and permanent as well. So P1 error is over voltage and under voltage protection. When the main electric supply we pass through the AC is high or whether it is low. Then the PCB, after detecting it, will show the P1 error. And it stops displaying the P1 error when the voltages get normal. The other reason is if the PCB gets, means any component in the PCB gets bad. So the possibility is that the electricity filtration circuit in the PCB has some fault. Then the P1 error will be shown. Also, if the big capacitors on the PCB are bad or short-circuited will cause a problem in the DC electricity, and the PCB will show us the over-voltages under voltage problem and show the P1 error on the display. The circuit which detects the P1 error gets bad. Still, this problem will be shown. See, this is the P1 error detection circuit in this PCB. Two ICs are installed here. This IC and the other is this one. These two IC works and detects the high and low AC and DC voltages and tells the microcontroller. Then it starts to show a P1 error. Check and repair this circuit if it is faulty. The dual comparator could be faulty, or any resistances around this circuit could be faulty too. Now I have installed the UVW analyzer on with the PCB. I will check it with two methods. I have installed the analyzer wires on the control board with the compressor wires to know whether the compressor is faulty or the PCB is faulty. To check them both, the analyzer plays a great role. Now let's see what problem it shows us. All the IGBT have turned on, but the compressor is not starting. The control has turned off the IGBT. It is also not showing any error now, and this is its behavior. Again it has turned on the IGBT and turned it off again. I have installed three multimeters on the control board. I am checking DC voltages with these three multimeters on the UVW terminals. I have installed the black probes on the negative side, and red probes on the positive terminals of the UVW. Now I have passed electricity through the air conditioner. You can see 14 volts flowing on the UVW terminals. This means the IPM terminals are ok, now, as I turned on the unit with the remote. And as you can see, 158 volts is flowing across all the terminals. All the IGBTs were turning on. And now it is passing voltages to it. Now I will analyze which point of the UVW is faulty. Now I notice that the voltages are a little high. Now the red and yellow lights of the control board have started to blink faster. And the P4 error has started to show on display. And it has got normal again. Now this PCB couldn't be repaired. First, let me tell you why the P4 error is displaying, and then I will tell you why it is not repairable. The P4 error is displayed when the compressor does not start. If due to any reason, the control board IPM is not working. It will show a P4 error. The other reason is if the compressor has gone bad mechanically or through its winding still, this error will be shown. Other than this, if these white, orange, and red wires are loose connection or disconnected, still the P4 error will be shown. 
Now let me tell you why this PCB couldn't get repaired. When I attached the analyzer to it, all the IGBTs turned on. But the lights on the UVW were glowing, not blinking. This means the pulse was not generated in it. All the phases of the IGBT were turning on simultaneously and then turning off, which made the strange voice inside the compressor. This was the main reason, and its IPM control microcontroller got faulty. This is for the video. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch the next videos. And subscribe. It is free. Thank you.